Howdy and welcome to the 10 Week Bible Study. This is week 10, day two of our study of Colossians and Galatians. I'm your host, Darren Hibbs, and today we're talking about Colossians 4, 7 through 9. Welcome back to the 10 Week Bible Study. Again, I'm your host, Darren Hibbs. Would you join me as we pray before we start today? Lord, would you open our eyes and our ears to hear what your word has to say to us? Speak to us and fill our hearts with the knowledge of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. With that, let's jump into God's word. I'll be reading today from the NIV. This is Colossians 4, starting in verse 7. Tychicus will tell you all the news about me. He is a dear brother, a faithful minister, and a fellow servant in the Lord. I am sending him to you for the express purpose that you may know about our circumstances and that he may encourage your hearts. He is coming with Onesimus, our faithful and dear brother, who is one of you. They will tell you everything that is happening here. <clears throat> That's all of our passage for today. Um, I love, I always love the ending of Paul's letters where he starts to get personal. He names people and and you really see the the brotherly love, the tenderness, the kindness, the I mean, just the depth of love that he has for his compatriots and all of these people. When he's speaking to them, right, he's talking about, you know, Tychicus is coming. He's going to tell you all the news about me. More, more than likely, Tychicus is the one delivering the letter. Um, you know, he's he's introducing him. He's a dear brother and a faithful minister, right? Accept him. And, and you know, Onesimus is is there, right? He's, he's coming with Onesimus, uh, you know, so accept him too. And he's, he's telling them this and he's saying, hey, they'll tell you everything that's happening with us here. The, the people you know, the people you don't know, what's going on, I'll give you all of the news about what the Lord's doing and the struggles that are going on. This really is this, I don't know how to describe it other than just this this tenderness and this, this sweet relationship that Paul has with all of these people. And I love the fact that in, in every one of Paul's letters, of his epistles, he always seems to find a way to to speak gently to people at the end and to 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 just love on these people. He's got to say some difficult things at times. He's he's he says some very challenging, hard things, but it never takes away from the emotions that Paul has. Right? This isn't just an exercise in ministry for Paul. Paul doesn't say that he loves them in in theory, right? Oh, but I love all of you guys. We don't see that from Paul. We we really don't see this false, you know, I love all people or I love you guys and and I'm just going to speak the hard truth in love, but I love you, but man, I'm glad I don't have to see you again, right? We don't get that impression from Paul. That kind of fake, um, fake love that, that seems so common today amongst just, just not, just not, I'm not saying like picking on Christians, but I mean, everybody, there's always this, this kind of almost, it almost feels like we have in our modern context perfected a phony affection, a phony love. I mean, you see it all over the internet, social media, TV, Right, I mean, sycophantic, sycophantic sucking up amongst Hollywood types and things like that. It's just, it's so common. It's so common, and we just don't see that with Paul. And I, I love these chapters, the last chapters of so many of his epistles, because it's like, oh, of all of the things that he's saying, when he concludes it with this, I love this, and I want that. I want to know the depth of affection that he has for other Christians. I want to know what that looks like and that feels like in my life. I mean, I it's it's easy for us to love the people that love us, right? Jesus says that's even easy for everyone. But to actually enjoy and love a group of people, like an entire group of people, not just the ones that you get along with and like, but actually love these people. To actually have that kind of affection. Hey, I'm sending these guys. I love these guys. Accept them, right? Paul is actually going out of his way to communicate with and reach out to these people because he cares about them. And he's showing it with the care that he has and the people that he's sending. I, again, I just love these things. These really move my heart when we read these passages in Paul's letters. For the 10-week Bible study, I'm your host, Darren Hibbs. And I can't wait to see you next time.
Hey, thanks for watching the 10-week Bible study. If you've enjoyed this, would you consider doing that whole like and subscribe and bell thing you're always hearing people talk about? It really helps other people find out about the show, and my heart is for people to fall in love with God's Word. Thank you.